How good was that? Hi, I'm Simon Gold, and if you have a love affair with food like I do, I have a proper secret for you. In a street you'd probably never venture, Cross Street. It's off K Road in Auckland. There's just a red light, it's a black door. You go downstairs. Come on, let's go. I am going to order three things that you will order when you come here. We're going to start with the parmesan custard and focaccia bread. Then we're going on to the pork rillette. And then we're having ribs. This is just sophistication. If you've got somebody you want to take out for dinner and show them a wow night out, this is the place. And this is my go-to for an outstanding night out. Wow! Everything here is presented to absolute perfection. Look at this. Oh. If you think of cheese whip and bread that has this hint of garlic, it's warm, it's soft, and then you just spread this garlic, parmesan, custard with pimento, and the pimento is just this chili with this lovely subtle flavor of heat. It's like the ultimate bread and cheese. Let me tell you, it is unbelievable. I have a secret for you. One of the first dishes I ever tasted of Carlo's was his pork rillette. It's not on the menu. But the secret I deliver to you is if you order his set menu, you will get the rear. You will make the biggest mistake of your life if you don't try this. Flaxy crackers, all right, now we're getting healthy. Simple, delicious, flaxy cracker. Let me tell you, you will change your life forever if you try this. This to me is the best pork rare you will find in New Zealand full stop. And the hint of the smokiness. It's like where did you trap that smoke in there? Who doesn't love ribs? Well, there's only one place you come for ribs, and that is Magda. Carlo says I eat it with my fingers because it, you know, Comes with its own handhold, right? Look at this. It is so soft, you don't need cutlery. Oh, I'm happy. I am happy. When you think of ribs, you think of sticky ribs that are done on the barbecue, have such a sugar sweet sauce that it's like having a dessert. This is the complete opposite. It's fresh, falls off the bone, it's moist, sharp flavours that just complement the fattiness of the ribs. Next level, next level. How good was that? If you've got a secret you'd like to share with me, whether it's the best cocktail, your mum's best sauce, best restaurant, best dish, Share it in the comments.